An update from Lubbock ISD tonight on those plans to potentially consolidate some of their schools. Last month, the district proposed the idea of combining some school campuses to help with the $14.8 million budget deficit. That problem made worse by no new state funding and declining enrollment rates. Kay Max Julian of Washburn has an update for us. Lauren, district leaders sent an email to parents last Thursday saying Wheelock, Honey, Wolfarth, and Ramirez Elementary Schools are no longer under consideration to close, but other schools are still under consideration tonight. No decisions have been made, um, but potentially Overton Elementary moving to Rush Elementary. LISD Superintendent Dr. Kathy Rolo says they're also considering options with consolidating schools like O.L. Oh well, Slayton, Bean, and Hodges, but those are just options. The Future Focus Committee is still sorting out ideas. Next week, we'll look at um, some additional options um, for potential pairing. Schools like Honey and Ramirez taken off the table and will stay open as is. We had multiple that were considered in the first meeting and then some of those came off of the table um, just because after further feasibility studies we realized that that's not possible. The whole plan meant to address the district's budget deficit after exhausting other options. I just know we have to do something because we have a 14.8 million dollar deficit budget. And seeing fewer kids enrolling. There's just fewer children living in our district. The district knows it's a big change, but they say it's a necessary one. Understand how how people are attached to their their schools, um, but we have to think about the future of the district, and we have to think about how we can maintain rich programs um, for our kids and that student experience as we move forward. So again, no decisions have been made yet, and you still have time to make your voice heard. There's a community meeting tonight open to the public. LISD's Future Focus Committee will present recommendations on consolidation to the Board of Trustees on November 21st, and the Board of Trustees will take action on December 4th.